What are we getting ready for? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Uh, game number two. Crappy, are you ready? Are you going to take us over? He is. Let's go. Yeah. Pass the metal man. I'm, uh, yeah, RoboCop's basically a Mega Man boss. You know who else is a Mega... I don't know. I think she rivals Wily when it comes to just how cruel she can be. Say hello, not to Xandra, but to our friend Hedgemaze. Ha ha! I tricked you. I tricked you, chat. Yeah. Throwing your curveball here. Nancy with the baseball cap. What a <laughs> cute kitty. Hello there, Hedgemaze. Hey, Rosetta. I tricked everybody, okay? You tricked everyone. I didn't mean to talk about Mega Man. It just happened. Mega Man always... <laughs> He's always on my mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this game we get to give out. Yeah, I learned about this game like two weeks ago or something. Oh, nice. All right. Good yeah. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't had the chance to play it. I'm really excited to see what this is because like... Every picture that I've seen from it has looked absolutely horrifying. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why it's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so speaking of unreleased games, uh, Corn Dan, I had Corn Dan test this for me, and he, he uh, had quite a reaction, and I think that's how we got to talking about GBA Robocop. But uh, this one is not as nice as that one. Are you sure? Uh, like, come on, this is this is also based off of a movie, right? Yeah, it's based on a Christmas movie. My, my wife and I were recently rewatching Home Alone 1 and 2, and I was thinking, like, what Home Alone 2 games have been out there? I better go look at them. And I found this one. This was unreleased. This is a special game. It's Home Alone 2, Kevin's Dream. For game I Boy. accidentally turned your picture off. Yeah, look, they're sleeping behind him. Aw. Yeah, look at this picture. It's amazing. Look at it. I love it. Was this, like, the theoretical box art or was it just somebody who slapped it together and they're like hey here here's here's the official box art sure go f we're gonna go with it I, I, I so this game was leaked at the lot check lo level so which was it was ready for the nintendo seal of quality the company just went out of business before they released it it was done it yeah. was ready to go here's the deal i saw screenshots of this game and i thought is this actually real, or did somebody just, like, do a mock-up of some, like, Cthulian HP Lovecraft Home Alone crossover world? And it turns out, no, this was a game that was made, and... So this is a real game. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be horrifying. It's, it's horrible. So this is, like, a sequel to Home Alone 2. This has nothing to do with Home Alone 1 or 2. There's nothing related to Christmas. There's nothing related to anything. This is just a weird fever dream that exists. This is... And we're going to get to look at this. This is Kevin Caught the Chicken Pox, the game, yeah, and I'd... he is currently having fever dreams. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Vaccinate your kids, yo. Okay, don't let them catch... Yeah. Don't let them go through Kevin's experience here. Yeah, you don't want this to happen. <laughs> I do not like the like the low notes in my right ear and the high notes in my left ear. I am very uncomfortable with this. It's it's yeah, this game is a lot. <laughs> well, I think that I'm actually ready. This is a rarity uh, that we are starting the second match right on time. Game Boy game, not too hard to set up. Glad everybody got ready. Yeah. People are asking, why is there Metroid music? Just, no. That's not what it is. That's not what this is. Link Karas, come on. Oh, apparently other people didn't notice the music in uh, opposite ears until I noticed it. Well, too bad. Everybody, I need all of your most nightmarish emotes because we're going to start the match. Get ready to spam because we're doing the countdown. Best of luck. Yeah, any kind of monsters, anything horrible and cursed, any eyes, clowns, robots. I don't know. Whatever you got, just some horrible. Oh, oh no, is always good. It's Bubsy a is game. a nightmare. Uh, Bubsy's good. Weird dreams. Those are nightmares. Crappy yep. is a nightmare. Santa Claus, he's my nightmare. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's kind of a dreamy dreamy fellow here. Okay. Oh, here's, here's this game. 
So yeah, here's a rarity for for Hedge Maze game. It's a it's a platformer. You... If I find a really if I find one that's really worth it, I gotta give one out. Yeah, I don't recall you ever giving a platformer out. I gave out that Pikachu hack. Oh. That it was like the Smurfs, but it was hacked as Pikachu. That one was good with the Titanic theme. Oh yeah, that was good. Uh, yep. Yeah, just. Okay, this right now is giving me Mega Man DOS vibes just because of the electric poles. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it so far. Okay, bouncy lights, you know that that's how physics work. Jump it on is. a light pole and you get to bounce even higher. Everybody, this is a dream. Do not try any of this at home, including flying while you are a robber. And if somebody throws an anvil at you, you have to catch it and immediately you plummet. That is physics i love that i love that kevin's carrying like five anvils around and yet if he throws it at one of the burglars it drops them like a rock it's good physics see that's one of the wonderful thing about dream physics uh is that you can literally get away with whatever ludicrous stuff as soon as it's a dream mario 2 U.S. made me a little bit angry because the whole, it was all a dream. It's, it was just a cop-out. Come on. Don't do that to me. Don't don't throw that to me at the end. If you're going to have it be in a dream, let us know right at the very beginning. In fact, before I even buy the game, let me know it's a dream, and I am all for the weird madness that we have here. Oh my gosh, it's raining cats and dogs. You get it? Let me start the prediction. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Well, the players will have one full hour to get as much through this game as they can and make as much progress as they can. Whoever does takes the victory and will likely be moving into the Cruz Grande bracket. Of course, it all matters on how many points they have. Although I'm looking at the people who are in this list and I'm betting that we're going to have more than one person move on from this. Yeah, it's a 24-25 point match, so I think only the last place person gets eliminated. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that's really exciting. Yeah, I'm looking uh, right now. Where are they? Come on. Where the people? Where the people? Let me scroll up. Genie, okay. Meta Knight both have 24 points. Lady Rex and Pika Bells have 25. So depending on who comes in third, they may make it to the bracket or need to enter a tiebreaker. And here we go. We officially have Mar. Is this Marv? I'm pretty sure this is Marv the Dragon. It's Harry. Yeah, but so, he has yeah, hair. So Harry's the one. Uh... Oh, it, or is that a hat? Is that a beanie? I think it's the hat. I think it's the hat. Okay, because I, anyways, Harry is the bald one and Marv is the non-bald one. Yeah, I think this is the one with the hat. Anyway, so Meta Knight is is facing the boss of this level. Unfortunately, Meta Knight only still has one uh, kite to collect, so that won't actually finish the level here. Can you not go back? I mean, you can, but uh, Knighty doesn't realize that. I mean... The screen is actually, scrolling you, left. Yeah, actually, I don't know if you can. Maybe you can't right now. Maybe you just have to kill the boss and then go back. Are you? Oh, there's there are anvil collectibles in the boss fight. I was gonna say, how do you even kill it if you run out of anvils? How do you kill yeah. the wet bandit? Like that. Oh, geez, Kevin like wakes up and goes back to sleep. This is scary. Oh, ninety. Wait, ninety did did advance. That's huh. What? I thought. Wait, I thought you needed all five collectibles. Uh... Huh. Hmm. Well then. Yeah, it's like, uh-oh. Do I need to, like... Did you tell anyway, them they this... need all the collectibles? I said this would be based on completion, which would be by either, yeah, collectibles or progression or whatever was relevant at the time, because I was figuring you needed all of those things. But gotcha. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let but me so see. Long... Just, just to make sure that there aren't uh, misleading yeah. instructions. I don't think so. Like, honestly, uh, let's see. Controls match the UI lives. Exmoor is how many collectibles you need to gather in the level. The anvil icon is your projectiles. Uh, I'll just go ahead and give them a heads up here. Yes. 
Also, I see people saying this is a reskin of the Bobby's World game. No, it isn't. That's a reskin of this. And that also didn't come out. But yeah, the Bobby's World game is funny because it's the exact same game. They only reskinned Kevin and Harry and Marv, that's all. I don't know if it makes more or less sense than this one. Anyway, so Nighty is into the circus level. Everyone else is still on the first level with the airplanes. Yeah, so I'm letting the players know that the collectibles may or may not be required to get through the level based off of what we've seen. However, if we do have a tie, we will still be judging a tiebreaker based off of the number of those collectibles that they've gotten. Uh, because that's the instruction that they received, uh, or at least that was implied through the instructions that were given there. Uh, although Meta Knight is moving on to the boss here, uh, somebody noted that the ladder that Pika Pals has right here, that Pika Pals can't climb up for some reason, uh, spawned after getting all the collectibles. How do you climb up the ladder? Can you climb up ladder? I don't know. I couldn't get it to work, but I... Just... Assume you can eventually climb up it. You couldn't get it to work. Well, Meta Knight is currently I'm not, on the I'm moon. Not good at oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I'm having some concerns here about about a laser dolphin. No. Nah. Because the the long the long play is only 17 minutes, but you don't get any continues, and there's no passwords. So yeah, I was Meta hoping Knight... that this would be long enough. Well, I mean, considering that there are three people who may be moving on out of this four-person match, I'd say that that is still enough to help uh, separate. Even if one person gets a very fast clear, uh, yeah. that still, you know, we still have three other people who need their places decided. I think we're going to go at, at the very least half an hour, probably the entire match, just based off of how the other players are doing. Meta Knight is yeah. just doing very, very well. I guess this is the type of nightmare that Meta Knight needed. Of course, yeah, they're... like this is a, this is one reason why I don't usually give out platformers because people in Cusa Grande are too good at them. But yeah, I was considering giving out a second game if they completed this, but Corn Dan said he thought it would be long enough, so we'll see. <laughs> Some people, yeah. Uh, so. Somebody mentioned Bobby's World. Bobby's World is a reskin of this, but they also didn't release that game. Yeah. So this game is an unreleased version of two. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, and both of them are completed games. Like you can play that one too. Like I. Well, if it's just, just a reskin, it, yeah. Yeah, and it's barely reskinned. It's really just the enemies and. and... Kevin, but yeah. <laughs> this is horrifying. I love it. Honestly, yeah, this... Yeah, it gets worse. I think a lot of movies should get this treatment. You know, the, the strange, nightmare, absolute atrocity, horrifying version of the movie. Yeah, like, I appreciate how the, this has nothing whatsoever to do with either movie or Christmas. Just nothing... Just the fact that it, that uh, we have PTSD from Kevin now, and he's dreaming about these guys. I mean, I have had some pretty horrifying nightmares. Uh, oh, geez, yeah, I, I take pills in order to help me not have too intensive nightmares. But like, you know, I've I've had nightmares where I'm like walking around, and then suddenly guts fall out of the ceiling, and I'm like, that's not cool. I don't like that. I want normal dreams. Come on, don't want guts everywhere. She's so many anvils for Lady Rex. Honestly, very strong. Yeah, I do like that the projectiles that you get are different for each stage. Do they have a different trajectory, or do they all follow the same sort of curve? I think they're the same. But yeah, there's a every every level follows a similar pattern where there's like certain thing platforms you can jump on and certain enemies that go in certain patterns. I don't think this is like the worst, like in terms of gameplay, but it's 
it's very there's, there's very there's a lot of precision involved with these platforms, and there's a lot of blind jumps. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't love that either. Yeah, unfortunately, my dreams, like I I have pills that help me so that when I sleep, I what? don't like flail. Because, uh, yeah, simply put, when you're married and you sleep in the same bed as somebody else, somebody, like, punching in their sleep is not a good thing, so that's why I have the pills. <laughs> Don't punch people in your sleep. I try not to, Corn Dan. That's why I went, that's why I asked my therapist to help with it. And she gave me pills, and it helps. I no longer do that. So I, I came in here mostly so Minicord could yell, hey, butts. Hey, Morning Cam. Because he way. wanted to, but then, and then he got stage fright and left. Just, oh, come on. Hey, butts. Hey, butts. No, he, he's already <laughs> off doing, like, everything else. Fine, whatever. I know. I want butts. So, at this point, it looks like Jean Genie has made a little progress. Meta Knight is still definitely in the lead. Uh, how many stages are there? Five. Oh, okay. Meta Knight's on stage three then, right? Yep, that's concerning me. But, yeah, it's only Meta Knight who's that far ahead. Uh, yeah, don't be concerned. Okay, Jean just, Jean just got there. Yeah, level two seems like it's kind of a pushover. But level three's causing a few issues for Meta Knight. Oh, I don't like this baseball level music. Dislike. Oh yeah, the circus level. <laughs> is it a circus? Yeah, it is. Oh, There's that's even what well, that's that's why this music sucks so bad. Oh yeah, that's part of why we were here. Uh, there's a. Uh, I guess we'll see it at the end. The, the boss of the clown. The, this level is uh, Harry D. Clown. It says so. There's a sign. Harry D. Clown. Yeah. Is that literally a homie D clown reference? Maybe? It fits the time period. Oh my... Oh no. I am very upset. I am very <laughs> upset. Okay, Lady Rex like found a ladder, there. but still is not doing very well at climbing ladders. Not that that's her fault, it's just I think this game might be bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what the boss of the moon is going to be. Because we've already got the man on the moon. We've got two men on, and a kid on the moon. Pretty intense. Also, I'm a little bit confused. Like, when you collect a star, you get a heart. Why not just have a heart? That's dumb. Just have a heart. I don't know. This is already Nightmare Land. Like, we've established oh, yeah, that you is. do not have to follow the rules of physics or anything. Make it a heart. I guess... Nah, I guess, like, since we're in this world... Uh, and all of the rules don't have to follow any logic whatsoever. Sure, make a start, give you a heart. Go ahead and confuse people, it's fine. Do, 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 do. I love that Chad is trying to make a connection to other Kuso that we have. Or saying that there's a connection to Kusogane, and I'm like, I think this game is its own connection to Kusoge. <laughs> yeah, there's there, there's Cause... nothing good about this. This is just very Kuso. Like, it seems like it's a little bit of fun. It's definitely a fever dream, but I feel like like maybe the platforming doesn't control as well as I think. Uh, it's playable, it but looks yeah, it's a little very, annoying. There's a lot of precision, and it's. Just super annoying. Yeah, it seems like you're either very slippery or you sort of move like a bowling ball, just have a lot of momentum and, or a lot of inertia at the very least. Yeah, I don't like the jumps. I don't like the cut away to Kevin sleeping in the bed when you finish a stage. It's like, yeah, we know he's asleep. Have you seen this game? This is not reality. 
Just, we, we just need to replace him with Luigi, and this would be a better game. This could almost be what? Mario 2, yeah! It could be. I see people asking why the walls are wiggling. It's not walls, that's the crowd in the circus. They are enjoying this. Isn't that how you enjoy things? It could be a wall of flesh. I don't know. Well, we get to that stage later, essentially. Actually, I do wiggle when I get happy. So yeah, this is this is about how I would react to if I were if I had a good show going on, then maybe I'd wiggle like this. However, if I were at a circus, I'd probably more wiggle because I don't I'm very I don't like it. I don't like circus music. Like if you took away the circus music, then I could almost tolerate it. Again, good music does a lot to carry whatever is happening around me. I've been to... I know I've been to Barnum and Bailey's before when I was a kid. I don't recall, like, what happened there other than it was a circus, for sure. Uh, I think that... Yeah, was there a wall of flesh there? <sighs> yeah, it was called the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all walls of flesh? If you wiggle yeah, at the wrong frequency, are. you get arrested by the wiggle police. Crap, I gotta be careful. No, I've, uh, as part of ADHD, I actually have a very hard time sitting still. I will wiggle. Oh, Gene Genie, what is this? I think Gene Genie is in the lead, <laughs> but no. <laughs> Dislike. We've got aliens yep. here. Yep. Oh. yep, we got aliens. Uh, yeah, does everyone love the, and remember the Harry Marv monster from the movie? Obviously. <laughs> Yeah, this like, time it's I, war. Yeah, this is like a sequel from yesterday's yeah, Alien match. It is. Yeah, like there's other games I was looking at, but when I saw this, I was like, no, I gotta give this out. Yeah, I'm. It's weird. Like everybody has been talking about this game over the last couple weeks, and I'm glad that we like are early on the train, and not everybody has gone and played this. Like, yeah, who's who's talking about this? I haven't heard anything about this. I'm I had to like dig really... around for this. I think it was on Angry Video Game Nerd, actually, because... Okay, okay, I don't watch that. That's fine. I mean, I really enjoy him, uh, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he did a recent ep episode about, like, all of the Home Alone games, and it was great. Okay. Uh, or was it somebody else? DNO? Who is DNO? Is that a dino? Did a dinosaur play this? Know. All I know is I found this from looking for her uh, unreleased Home Alone. Game. Well, guess what? You did a good job. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. Okay, yeah. So uh, Meta, Meta Knight has now reached the Xenomorph. Maybe, maybe it wasn't AVGN because he did. He did Garfield, and he did Doom. Those were the last two episodes. Was it maybe uh, Home Alone Games? Come on, come on. Where are you? Uh, was it Flandreau? I think it was Flandreau who did it, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And that video was released three weeks ago. I don't know who you are, Flandreau. I just know that uh, I saw that you were comparing every version of Home Alone the game, and I really enjoyed that video. That was fun. Okay, now you beat the Xenomarv. Xenomarv, as someone in chat's telling me. But yeah, now we're on the robot level. The Xenomarv, yeah! This is level four. We may actually have a completion a little bit sooner than expected, but we need to have three completions before we would call the match done. Uh, Meta yeah, Knight said, is yeah. really good at platformers, though. Yeah, I said they could replay it if they beat it, but I... Depends what we think, how much time is left. But yeah, I previously had another game in mind if they beat it, but I don't think they're all going to beat it. Oh, I like the moon music. Like DuckTales, but better. Good music. Ha! 
Ha ha ha! Yeah, all you to the moon nerds out there. Yeah, I'm throwing you some shade. There are five levels. I think this is the fourth one. Honestly, to the moon's fine. It's a good one. I think. Nah, it, it's good. It, it's a it's a bop. But I think people talk about it too much when there are so many other songs out there. I would say that To The Moon is at least on the... You, you deserve to be recognized. It's just people need to stop playing it for literally every single thing. Like, if you do a Mega Man ROM hack, you do not have to put To The Moon from DuckTales in it, okay? You just don't have to. You can put other songs in. It doesn't have to be DuckTales. Spelling something out in the background. I see U and D. Q and D? Oh, oh, unexpected developments. Oh, the developers are putting their name in here. Aw, that's really good for them. I mean, it was unexpected for sure. This is very unexpected. I also see chat mentioning, I, I think it's Corn Dad mentioning this has got the Barbie sound effects. Yeah. yeah those are good. I love, Barbie's got good sound effects. I haven't played Game Boy Barbie, but I I, I used to speedrun the NES one, and one of my favorite things to tell, like, back when I was teaching English classes, uh, was telling my students that I used to have the Barbie world record because, you know, it was such a dumb thing to share with people, and that that helped ease a little bit of the, the first week tension going on in there. Where you're like, are we friends or foes yet? And I'm like, well, I've got the Barbie world record. And they're like, I still, I don't know exactly if we're friends or foes yet, but <laughs> I know you played Barbie, I guess. And there you go. Yep. Per Waffle Fox, though. your wife, Meta Knight what? and Jean are on their last lives. And that is correct. Yeah. One death. And they will be starting the game over. We might yeah, get to see... Uh, a little bit of that effort trying to catch back up to where you were before and trying to not get a game over. Oh, these this game is horrifying. Yep. I'm not sure where platforms begin and where they end. It's it's not great. But yeah, so I mean it's unlikely that they're both going to get past this without losing a life. I mean without, you know, getting to the end of the game because Yeah. Uh, you don't, you only get, so you, you actually, you get an extra life if you defeat the boss. Oh, every, really? Every, uh, level. Yeah, every level, that's how you get an extra life. You don't get them from anything else, I don't think. So, okay. I mean, Okay, there okay, goes Meta Knight, that is game Meta over! Knight's Kevin down. woke up and had the oh no face! Yes! But yeah, at least, at least this game is very learnable. Actually, this is a free world record, you know, because there's a... The, as I said, the long play is like 17 minutes, but they never submitted it as a, as a speedrun. If one of these players beats it, they could submit it. There's no speedrun um, on speedrun.com. No, but yeah. yeah, so this game is this game is lo not long and it's not really random, so like they can get back to where they were. Yeah, actually, uh, I normally don't like collectathons, but this is mostly a linear type of collectathon, yeah. left to right, uh, and honestly. There are probably ways to get to the boss without getting every collectible. Gene Genie also back to the beginning, although I think that was a little bit more progress. Oh my gosh. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I didn't say I was doing it by score, but that would also be another way to do it. Actually, that might be a good way because it's probably a combination of your collectibles and other... Uh yeah, Thanks. if it, so if it wasn't... So by collectibles... We're, we can't change the uh, progression metrics, though. We, we'd have yeah. to go with uh, what was told. And essentially, they yeah, were but... told that, like, the collectibles were a metric. You don't even well, get I a said... score for getting collectibles. I, I think you do. Don't you? Uh, no, look at Gene Genie. Score of zero. And only oh, okay. one collectible left. Okay. Okay, killing a bird gave 25 points. That's cool. 
I wish I got 25 points for throwing an anvil at a bird. I'd do that more. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure it out when we get there. But yeah, this game is pretty linear, so it should be figure outable. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I have to say, the boss music at least is better than uh, the clown music. Circus music is just the worst genre. Yeah, it's just funny that that was in like every game in the 90s. Like, you had to have your sewer and all that. You had to have your, your circus level. You have to. It's not a video game if you don't. Yeah, but like... I mean, a sewer level is basically required. Circus level, like, if you didn't have a sewer, you had to have a circus, which is basically the sewer that's filled with people. Yeah, you have to have your wall of flesh inside your sewer. Y'all, if you wanted to go join the circus, I'm sorry if I'm offending all of you. Uh, and honestly, huge props to people who do perform in circuses. You probably are extremely underpaid and are way cooler than like I could ever hope to be seriously unless you're the person who owns the circus in which case you can just go away you probably suck but everybody who works at a circus and doesn't own the circus you're probably all right yeah like it depends on the circus like I'm not okay with like you know uh abusing animals or anything like that but like I I live in New York and we have a uh, uh, what's called the Coney Island Circus Side Show, and it's all like, it's like it's not exploiting anyone. It's just like people who are performing and uh, yeah. doing cool things like fire eating and sword swallowing and stuff, and it's very impressive. It's That's cool. really cool. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of uh, changes. Yeah. In the circus industry, yeah, the '80s and '90s circuses were probably a heck of a lot creepier than they are today. Yeah, and, and even the further back you go in history, too, like, there's a oh, lot yeah. of bad things that have been yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cirque du Soleil, yeah, I 100% I say that, the, like, those are some of the coolest clowns. First off, they don't make animal balloons, which is, like, on, I, I can admire an animal, animal, uh, I can't even say abible today. Animal balloon, I can admire it, however... The sound of rubbing a balloon is one of the noises that will immediately get me to try to murder something, okay? That, like, if I'm a sleeper agent, it has to deal with rubbing <laughs> balloons. Yeah, it's not a good sound. Yeah, I, I... I think most people have some of those sounds that immediately make them irrationally angry. That, like, gives me a headache in half a second, and... I will try to kill the balloon. Uh, that's just how it goes, yeah. Uh, I still like the idea of balloons. I just do not rub them. Do not rub them. I will I will pop them. I will pop your balloon. If you want me to pop your balloon and then rub it, and then you have no more balloon. And guess what? That's your fault because I told you not to rub it, and you rubbed it anyway. I'll keep that in mind. People Meanwhile, are asking. Lady oh no! Okay, keep going. Meanwhile, it no, just saying the game. Lady Rex has got five uh, Kevins, which is to say six Kevins, and uh, <laughs> is in the moon level. So that, that's pretty good. Well, yeah, it's like one Kevin out, uh, out in public, and the others are in storage. You know, just waiting to get opened up. Yeah, the secret hidden Kevins. The secret hidden Kevins. For every real Kevin you see, there may be five Kevins hiding under the counter. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you find a Kevin in your house, call the Exterminator right away. Maybe the Terminator. That'd be even better. Like, you could call Harry and Marv, but they're not very confident. We've already seen that. Yeah, they can't. No. What are they going to do? Hanging up on a coat hook? That's dumb. Okay, Jean made it to the moon with six Kevins. Yeah. Somebody is noting that, like, one of the players may have died with one heart remaining, and if that happened, 
Well, this is a prototype. So... Yeah, it's not a good game. I wouldn't say it... I, I'd say that maybe, uh, like, we miss something. Maybe there are some things that will instantly kill you. But also, this is the prototype that, uh... I, honestly, I'm kind of sad that this didn't get released because this is really cool. Yeah, this is just such a strange game to release. Because, I mean, like, there's so many Home Alone-related games, and, like, none of them are, like... It, yeah, a lot of them don't really follow the plot or anything, but, like, all of them are more related to Home Alone than this one. This is just an interesting creation. Yeah. I actually really envy, uh, like, the people who got to work on Home Alone games because they're like, how do I turn this really cool movie idea into an idea that works for a game? And, like, there's yeah. so much experimentation with different types of Home Alone that, like... I don't think very many of them worked super well, but they still got to try, and I, I wish that, like, development these days sort of encouraged that experimentation instead of, like, you know, the big developers always following the same formula, blah 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 and then even failing at the same formula that they've been using for, like, a decade now. Thank you so much, Cyberpunk 2077. You had so much hope. And yet... Oh no. It didn't work out great. But yeah, I think this, this era was really interesting where... And a lot of these games were made, like, sometimes before the movie even came out or whatever. You had all these, like, games that were trying something and... may not have a lot to do with what it's based on, but they were trying something interesting. Wait, you know, you're it's... not really going to get that, that something that chaotic anymore. Am I seeing that this company did the Game Boy port of Shaq Fu? Because Probably. that is beautiful. Oh, I love it. Wait, Beethoven is in there? Game Boy Beethoven? I don't think I even knew this existed. What? Yep. Yeah, there is. It's bad. It has to be like, quote unquote, the same as uh, the Super Nintendo version, right? Ish? No? Not at all? That's right, the Super Nintendo version was Beethoven's second. I'm very interested in this. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chad I was also at says. That one a while ago. Chad did bring up earlier. Uh, what's it called? Robocop versus Terminator? Yeah. I got it. Uh, I haven't checked out the Game Boy version of that, but I'm interested in this. Yeah, I'm sure this company has got a lot of interesting uh, games from their pedigree. A sea Quest for Game Boy? Okay, okay. I like this. Sports Illustrated Golf Classic. That sounds exciting. Phantom 2040. Okay, now you're just flirting with me, company. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You know, I'm a little bit shy over here, but... I like that. I like that. So, meanwhile, Gene is on the robot level with six Kevins. That's some really good progress. Doo-doo-doo-doo. Yeah, so... I'm, lo I'm looking at uh, some of the information for the Bobby's World version of this game, and uh, uh, it was developed by Unexpected Development. Uh, the publisher would have been high-tech entertainment if it came out, which makes sense that... Uh, we have Barbie sound effects in this yeah. game. That's high-tech expressions. They made Barbie games. Uh... <laughs> yeah, what's weird is that ga that game would make more sense. Like, it that license would make more sense with this, like, dreaming, like, plot. Because that's kind of what Bobby's World was. But this is the first game. This one was first, so I don't know. I don't know. Like, what I looked, at, I looked at that one, too, and it's also weird, though. I mean, yeah. It's the same game. It's just, it, they're both weird. This is all weird. Well, Gene Genie is back to stage four, and I believe has, like, made the most successful attempt at getting back into this. Look at that, six lives. 
Yeah. Like, Jean Genie could possibly beat the game on this attempt, and then we'll have an interview partway through the match instead of after the match. But yeah, that'd be neat. I, I, I mean, I'm sure we'll get there, but yeah, I really want people to see level 5, because it's the most cursed of them all. I love curses! I run Kusa Grande, uh, of course I love curses! But yeah, there's Gene falling into another blind jump. This game's a bit rude. It's not the rudest game it could be, but it's rude. Oh yeah. <laughs> this music, it's killing me. Dun, 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 dun. Well, the music was made by a guy known as John Luce. And I'm taking a look at here at the games that he worked on. Spot the Cool Adventure. Uh, specifically, the Game Boy version, I believe, is what he worked on. Pretty dang cool. Okay. That was developed by Visual Concept, published by Version Games. Uh, he also ended up working on Rocket's New School. I don't know. Dr. Seuss's ABC? That's pretty cool. He got a thanks in The Sims 2. A good game. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a great game. Also, additional thanks in Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. That game is just a little amazing. I don't know how much work he actually did for them, but, like, it, it looks like he worked on a lot of crappy games and then got a decent number of thanks in some decent games. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much, John C. Luce, for giving us this music. I'm I'm not sure about this stage. The robot stage, not the best music I've heard. Yeah, so Lady Rex just got there, so we have three players that have reached that level. Yeah! This is very aggressive robot music. If a robot made music, I'd expect it to sound like this. I don't know, I thought if robots made music, it'd be that funk. Okay, no. Are you saying they're not robots? They're not robots. Those I'm are sure you're breaking kayfabe. The you're hell? Breaking kayfabe. What's that? I don't know what kayfabe is. What's kayfabe? Like in wrestling, when you pretend everything is real. So, like breaking kayfabe is is you know saying it's fake. Gotcha. Do they wrestle in Daft Punk? I hope so. I hope, like, I as they're singing on stage, the robots uh, just wrestle each other. I mean, there's probably fan art of that. <laughs> I'm sure there is. Oh, I love it. Well, honestly, I know very little about, like, pro wrestling. Because it's just, like, a fandom that I've never gotten into. That sounds I fun. I have... I haven't been watching in a while because uh, problems in the industry, but like it's 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 fun. It's just like That's fair. Uh, the acting. more it's funny. The m no, it's not acting. You said it's not, so it's not. Uh, <laughs> so, like the older that I've gotten, the more that I've appreciated it. There used to be like a whole bunch of people who like were like, why would I even care? This is just like sweaty dudes fake wrestling each other and now i'm like I, now i'm gay and i'm more okay with that like <laughs> it doesn't really matter if it's real or not it's the whole the show is what matters and at the end of the day you get sweaty men wrestling exactly yeah what what is there to hate about that huh nothing Lady Rex was a little bit wiser the second time moving on to that section of moving platforms. Uh, she, the first time, tried to speed through it, got a little bit impatient, and died because of it. This time she waited a couple cycles to make sure that she could actually make the jumps, and she got through it and is on to the bouncing Marv section. Now we've got another robot. Uh, Pika Pal's currently fighting this demon. I don't like the demon. Very weird. Not cool. Meta Knight is trying to catch up, currently fighting a Clown Boss, and is through. You know what I dislike about Clown Boss? He's not on screen very often, so I don't really get yeah. a good look. 
Yeah, Harry D. Clown is shy. Yeah, uh, other people are saying that, like, people who do pro wrestling break bones get injuries. Yeah, as it turns out, uh, a lot, like, You can break a you can break a bone performing Hamlet. Come on, but like, does that mean that you are actually Hamlet? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you are. I feel like if you were playing in Hamlet and somebody stabbed you with a real sword and you died, you could uh, your ghost could claim to actually be the ghost of Hamlet. I think that you earn that right at that point. I saw Codeman in the Discord link the back of the box if you want to take a look at it. I posted it in the GM chat. Yeah. Oh, let me see. I mean, the box never happened, but here's the card they made for it. Okay, let me go ahead and take a look. Now you're playing with portable power. Ugh, Nintendo, you needed to stop that. Like, well, I mean, they did eventually stop it. Thank goodness. So here's a little bit of the box uh, that I can read. Oh, we've got the robot boss. Yeah, la yeah, Lady Rex is on the boss. She she's in the lead. This boss? So yeah, the boss here is both uh, their heads. It doesn't seem too difficult, though. Like, look at Marv. He's not even yeah. capable yeah, of hitting slow. Lady Rex. Yeah, so uh, oh. she, only has, she only has this one Kevin. She doesn't have any other lives, but she is in the lead now. And she can yeah, I think the, she's going to kill level. it as well. This boss does not seem like a challenge, I gotta be honest. No, it's not, not oh. too bad. Oh, uh oh, oh, oh. There's one projectile. Come on, Marv head, you need to die. Pew! Okay, I don't like this boss, but it's just because it's got a really crappy pattern here. Okay, he's got through. All right, so here is the like body horror level, or the yes! uh, whatever you want to call this. It's the guts level. It's the eye level. It's body the level. horror. Everybody, get ready for <laughs> the nineties. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like I love that I've never had to write a like, uh, you know, a phobia or like uh, warnings or whatever. Like I never had to write game, like, content warnings for a game, and I had to write one for this because what if what if someone's got a problem with eyes? This game is gonna have a wall of eyes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just so y'all know, if things gross you out, prepared to be grossed out. I don't know yeah. how grossed out, but if a wall of eyes is too much, then there you go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have. I mean, it's, it's, it's Game Boy, but yeah, it's 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 uh, a lot for a child. Here we ooh, go. It's ooh, a lot, it's a wall I'm of eyes. uncomfortable. I. They all blink at different levels. I, I don't okay. Like it. I. I I really like that. Do I like it for a Home Alone game? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, a place for that to be. It's weird. Okay, okay. so Gene, Gene's on the boss now. Okay, this is Look a boss. Look at the eyes. Oh, Gene yeah, Genie. Uh, Genie. Uh, I, I thought you were talking about Lady Rex for a little while. No, no, no. Uh, Gene Genie fighting Robo Marvin yeah. Harry. Uh, Lady Rex just trying to get through this existential terror. Uh, honestly, though, kids have some pretty demented dreams at times. And just knowing Kevin from Home Alone, this would probably be par for the course. Like, he's he's probably got a lot of PTSD from while he's been through. It's understandable. Or maybe all dreams. the movies that he watched while... Like, everybody while he was home alone. I mean, I saw some oh, of those, yeah, those movies. Were, yeah, those were some pretty adult movies. Yeah. Anyway, so Lady Rex got another Kevin from uh, defeating the previous boss. So I mean, she yeah. plays this really well. She plays this really well. Maybe she could beat the game. She's been doing well. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Will you be able to get to uh, the, the, the boss? Yeah, just got to play this cautiously. Okay, there are the mouths in the background. I like them. They're trying to smooch. Beautiful. We got upside down Harry. <laughs> I 
I love that, like, the box specifically advertises this level as somewhere you've never even dreamed of. And y'all, yep. let me just tell you, that's not true. I have had some weird dreams. Okay, Gene died. Oh no, Gene, back to the beginning, but Gene did get to the Marv and Harry robots. Did did Gene beat the boss or uh, die on the boss? I don't think they beat the boss. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, I Lady Rex, <laughs> here we go. Are you yeah, ready? Yeah, here's the final boss. I'm excited. This... Yeah, so there's this horrible abomination. This is why I had to give this game out. He doesn't I don't like look too difficult. So there's, there's four patterns of projectiles. One is the the spinny one. That's the, that's the best one to get up close and try to attack when it's doing the spinny one. There's the straight ahead one. There's one that throws the ball uh -oh, and it drops. Oh, the bouncy there. ball. You just and gotta the one get... that bounces. Yeah, it's always in the same order. You can just learn the pattern. Oh, that is a death! Ah. Is that back to the okay, beginning she, of the stage? No, oh. Yes, yeah, the beginning of the stage. She's got one more Kevin. Okay, final Kevin. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, anyway, so Pika Pals is in second place now. Holy cow, Pika Pals going through the body horror level with five Kevins left. That is a huge number of Kevins. If Lady Rex doesn't beat the game, then. Pika Pals has a very good chance of catching yeah, up. Yeah, very good chance. Lady Rex already down to only one HP left, though. This is very risky. Yeah, and meanwhile, Meta Knight, I was in the lead, but I don't think he got up to the boss. I, Unless someone corrects me there. No, I don't think he did. Meta Knight appears to have moved into fourth place at this point. And honestly, fourth place is the danger zone. That's what gets yeah, you eliminated is. from the tournament. You need to work this. Yeah, this uh, is a very exciting match now. This is really close. Like, honestly, this is anyone's game to come in first. Or second, or third, or fourth. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but they just need to make consistent progress. Yeah, and this is why I, I thought this was good to give out, because it's not one of those games where you'll game over after 40 minutes and then you're, you're, you're over. Like, th this game is pretty quick to get back into once you are figuring it out. Yeah. But yeah, so this is anyone's game. <laughs> this music, it kills me. But yeah, Pika Pals was in last for a long time, and, and now he's caught up. Just so you know, the person who did the art for this is Chris Hughes, a.k.a. producer of Titanfall 2, a.k.a. one of the programmers <laughs> for Jed Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, he did... Uh, QA for tons of games, uh, technology build and release manager for Apex Legends, uh, worked on Saints Row 2, worked on Bratz Girls Rally Rock, okay, maybe that's not as good, World of Zoo, supervised the QA section over that, and Lady Rex, that is a game over, oh no, uh, there's still no. enough time to get back up though, like, yeah, this time. I have no idea. This is so bizarre, this game. Yeah. Meanwhile, Pika Pals is now the person to watch. He's still got four Kevins. Dude, four Kevins. That's as many Kevins as I want. <laughs> Dustin, think about that. Yeah. But yeah, this is... Good chances for Pika Pals if he can get through here. Let's see, there's right, that's one. A, that's a death. There's one final person that I'm trying to track down a little bit to see what they worked on. Specifically, Carrie Hammer, uh, who worked on the platform code, which might be one of the one of the less. Uh, high quality things, but again, like th this wasn't released, okay? Yeah. And I feel like you know you can't put unreleased games to the same standard as games that were released and sold for money. Like honestly, this is. I feel like with a little bit of polish, this could have been released and given kids nightmares. <laughs> yeah, I can just imagine, like the kids like, deserve. 
Yeah, like whenever I look at games, you always look at YouTube, and, and even, no matter how bad the game the game is, there's always going to be YouTube comments where like, oh, my favorite game when I was a kid. It doesn't matter. Like, it's always going to be somebody's first game or their favorite game or something. And or like, oh, this traumatized me as a kid. You can only imagine the comments on this. People really did grow up with this. Oh my gosh. One of the people who worked on this. There we go. The, the person who did the programming for the platforming in this game, Carrie Hammer actually was the director of programming for what was called the Microzine Junior, which was essentially an educational disc-based magazine that went out in the late 80s, I think early 90s, uh, essentially educating about programming. Uh, right. th yeah, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. that, that's essentially how this person got started with educational uh, software and then eventually moved on and worked on not great games, but still, it's really cool. Pew! Yeah, other people are like, uh, I, I, I see chat talking about, you know, where this stands amongst, like, worst Game Boy games. This is nowhere near the worst. Oh, no, there it's are not. plenty it's of it's cursed. Yeah, this is cursed. Uh... This is absolutely a survival horror game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there are plenty of actually released Game Boy games that are definitively worse than this. Uh, I would say that, like, the platforming in this game is not the best. The blind jumps are not the best. Uh, Kevin's a little bit sluggish. But it's, it's still a playable game. It's just, like, who gave approval for this idea... And yeah, like, did you know this... that, like, giving approval for this meant that you would spend all this time in development and everyone would be like, you know what, never mind. What the crap? No, we're taking... No, no, we can't yeah, release I, I this. I just really wonder where where this came from. Like, they're like, we have the Home Alone license, we better make another game. Because, the, the, you know, they made the normal Home Alone 2 game, but it's like, yeah, let's, let's make another one. And, and this was the idea? Okay. I mean, I love it! I yeah, really like, wish this would have come out, because... Yeah, I just want an interview. Whose idea was this? Oh my gosh. It's always manage management's fault. It's uh, everybody. It's yeah. always going to be management's fault. Uh, who was the manager here? I want to talk to them. Come on. I'm going to pull a Karen here. Uh, developed by executive producer Howard Phillips. Was it your fault? Howard Phillips, come here. Yeah, as soon as you're an executive, I can start blaming you for all of the chaos here. Mind you, I love this, but I'm still going to start, like, pointing fingers at at this yeah. guy. Come on, you awesome. you were the executive producer of Tasmania 2. Oh, no, the Ren and Stimpy show Buckaroos. Oh, no. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. <laughs> Family Dog. How does, how does it keep getting worse as I go down this list? Swap thing? Okay. Okay. Oh no, swamping. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say let's so blame small, this guy. <laughs> Howard Phillips, executive producer of this game. Uh, they probably were like, you're no longer allowed to uh, choose games that we're gonna work on. <laughs> I mean, he worked on Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends as well, so maybe that was fine. I don't know. Oh no, Pika Pals. I mean, Pika Pals is still in the lead, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But yeah, I want to see if you can complete this. Okay. This guy, though, also did additional game design support for Zoo Tycoon 2. And he was the game designer for the Page Master, uh, a Super Nintendo game also starring Macaulay Culkin. And that has been on Cusa Grande, but that I think has a lot of redeemable qualities. I actually really like the game. Yeah, Pika Pals okay, is yeah, in, second. Pika Pals in second. Pika Pals needs to get to the boss. If you do, you may move into the first. Uh, Lady Rex did indeed see the boss and in fact actually fought the boss, if I'm not mistaken. And because of that, she is in the lead. People are calling the boss Meat Muppet. I dislike that description. But I'll <laughs> go ahead and roll with it. The Meat Muppet, Perry Marv, 
wrong. Wrong? I mean, it's a description that you could use. I mean, it's basically an alien who's using their heads as puppets and then shooting out deadly stuff. I think that that's an app description, yeah. I feel like this is a game where anyone could have their own description in it. That's all fair. That's fair enough. Your okay. Description. Let me see who the other executive producer was, okay? Howard Phillips, I already am pointing a lot of fingers at you for being an executive producer. Maybe you didn't choose the game, but you're the one with executive there, which means that you're some sort of management, and that's who I can blame. Okay, Larry Siegel. You are the other one. Larry Siegel, where are you? Uh, you did QA for LA-19 bullying? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's this one? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. VP of something important for the Ren and Stimpy show Time Warp. That wasn't good. Uh, Rugrat Scavenger Hunt. Is that the game that I played when I was young? Nope. It is okay. a bunch of regrets games. Yeah. This company is just full of regret, and honestly, like... Yeah. It's kind of impressive if your whole pedigree is Kusoge. Yeah. Just but never then again, accidentally made a good game. I okay, think... Pika Pals is on the boss. Okay, Pika Pals, if you can kill this boss, you win the match. If you can't, though, there's not really a good way to track how much damage you've done to the boss. I have hits, but I don't remember. I don't know how many hits it is for the this boss. Five million. <laughs> yeah, like it was like five for the first boss, but it's a little rough because sometimes it doesn't seem to out. Oh come on, bam! Yeah. All right. Do you have to hit else. it while the eye is open? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, the eye closed after Pika Pals hit it. So that's yeah, that going to be, be my thing. guess. And maybe yeah, if you yeah, keep hitting the eye, thing. the eye stays closed. I, okay, like... I like that it's it looks like there's a hand off screen that just throws another ball into the arena. Like, whoop. oh, maybe it's each individual hand that throws... Yeah, each hand has its own projectile. Yeah, it's a different... I hate this. Yeah, each one's this different. This is gross. It's, it's pretty gross, yeah. I don't like this being the final boss. I I do hope we get some kind of definitive way to find out which of them is in the lead. Yeah. Ecapels, will you beat them? Bam! Ball to the eye. Okay, yeah, Pika Pals, if you get hit once more, I, I think Pika Pals is doing a lot of work to not get hit by stuff, though, which is good. Oh my gosh, Doc. Yeah, he's being careful. Yeah, you've got to be careful here because not being careful. If you get greedy, you're going to die. The projectiles are starting to speed up, though, so it's getting more dangerous. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, they're coming out at slightly faster speeds, oh, yeah. less yeah, delay between too. them. Yeah, I think Pika Pals, at the very least, has lived a little bit longer. Oh my gosh. This is, so, yeah. this is ridiculous. I thought that this boss was like, this is so easy. What is this? And now, no. Oh, no. Ugh. Yeah, it's not. I like this. How is this boss actually kind of well designed? Is that there a we game? Go. Oh, it's, it's a completion. A you win. Yeah. Oh my you gosh, win. look at him. He's jumping from the bed. <laughs> Woo. All right, that was exciting. What the crap? You win! Jump from the bed, everybody! Jump! Oh my gosh. Because, yeah, I don't... Nobody else is going to get a completion. Gene Genie and Meta Knight, no, though, won't. are both really close to each other. I don't know who has made more progress in this. Oh, no. Yeah, we may have We're to gonna, We might have to go back to VODs to see who, uh, between them, takes third and fourth. Because Gene Genie... Meta Knight, they're both really good players. Hello there, Pika Pals. Holy crap, you win! Hey, congrats. Yeah, I won. We the... woke up. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm so glad. You escaped the you nightmare. You know, if you get a game over, you wake up as well, so it's, like, not really that bad. That's true. 
Yeah. Sure, we had plenty of wins then. Uh, so <laughs> a few, yeah. Ooh, it looks like Meta Knight just got a game over, but this is essentially time. I don't know. You definitely took the victory here. Only one other person saw the boss, and if you would not have killed the boss, then you probably would have been considered second place. But killing the final boss just cemented that victory for you. This was an intense watch. A lot more yeah, than I expected. Yeah, so exciting. Because, yeah, you were in last for a long time, and then you came right to the first. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out, climbing a kite is the hardest thing in the video game. How? Yeah, how like, you have to do that? I don't how remember. do you climb it? You just have to, like, climb it from the left. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. to be fair, I wouldn't necessarily think you have to climb a kite from a specific direction, but I've never gone I kept, to climb one. I kept trying to climb it from the right every time because, you know, you're higher up on that side. And then, nope, you just grab it from the left and it works easy. Yeah, uh, Lady T-Rex, by the way, is saying that uh, they're pretty sure they made it to the final boss. Uh, but she wasn't sure if, uh, you know, she she made it to the final stage, fought the boss, unfortunately died. Uh, I kind of like the idea that, like, all of the projectiles there were coming out, uh, you know, in a specific order. But as you fought, they got faster and faster because it made for an intense finish there. I, I was like, Pika Pals, don't mess up. Don't mess up. Uh, it was definitely getting rough at the end. Like, at the start, it takes a while, you know, have to figure everything out. But then by the middle, you're like, okay, this is easy. I just have to wait out until the eye opens. And then they just start coming faster. And when there are two of them on screen at once, it starts getting worrying. Oh, for sure. Uh, but with that said, like, I have to ask what you think of this game. This is not a released game. This is something that, like, we did not get to experience in the world. Like, but it, it, it's finished. It just never came out. Do you think it should have been released? Uh, I mean, overall, I think it was generally fine. It just has all the normal GB Game Boy problems that you get of the screen's too small and you're terrified of everything below you. Yeah, sort of that, the blind jumps, those were a little bit of an issue. Uh, mm -hmm. What about, like, the whole sort of dream horror aspect? Do you feel like that fit well for, like, Home Alone? <laughs> I know, very specific. Did that fit well for yeah. Home Alone? <laughs> uh, that, I haven't really watched much Home Alone, but... Overall, I think it was fine. It was mostly cartoony. Okay. And, like, at the end, maybe it's a little creepy, but... Yeah. I don't think it was to the point of, like, real horror. Yeah, we we had a lot of games in the 90s that kind of did that. Uh, what am I thinking of? Lemmings, for example. Even Lemmings has, like, a blood demonic level in it, you know? It's all cute and happy, and then suddenly there's just blood and body horror for one level, and it's like, why did you do this? What the crap? This is weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... Overall, I don't think it was too creepy or anything. Like, it's just... I think the only thing was really just all the eyes on the wall I could see. Oh, I love that screen. being weirded out by that, but... Yeah. Honestly, it's yeah, it's kind of a cool look for it. Yeah, I'm really glad that people have discovered this prototype uh, because it, it's got some interesting aspects. It's not it, it's flawed. Uh, I think some of the platforming yeah, could sure. be improved there. Uh, but at the same time, like you made it control the way that you wanted it to. You you were able to uh, actually beat the game. So like seriously, great job there. Thanks. I think the only level I had trouble doing what I wanted was actually the moon one. For some reason, I had a bunch of times where I was just trying to jump over those craters of lava, and the game was like, no, you don't get to jump this time. No, don't do it. Goodbye. <laughs> no, yeah. please walk into the lava. It's here for a reason. We want you to feel it. 
Yeah, but it's hot. Lava is so hot. Why is there lava on the moon? Oh, because it's a dream. Actually, that that's one thing that I sort of like about the game, that, like, uh, because it's a dream environment, every all of the weird stuff is fine. It makes sense. And it's just great to have, like, the same two wet bandits recycled over and over again in various forms. I'm a huge fan of this game. I, I would go ahead and say Kusoge, definitely bad game. Uh, question I mean, overall, mark. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, having those two appear in every stage is just kind of fun, honestly. It's so good. You know, it's fair that he'd be traumatized by them after what happens. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and you get to go and fight your inner demons. It's just perfect. Anyways, I, I'm yeah. very opinionated. I love this game. I thought that it was great. I think that it fits the tur the tournament perfectly. And hey, you just solidified your spot in the bracket. So did Lady T-Rex, though, coming in second, uh, making it to the boss before you, but unfortunately getting a game over on the boss. Uh, still, that is a solid, you are going to the tournament. Good job, you're going to the bracket. Uh, oh, yeah, congrats. Yeah. So I'm anything just, else? Any through this uh, <laughs> this minefield of a uh, match. Oh yeah. Anything else that's going on that people should know about? Anything that you're streaming these days, or any fun games? Uh, no, not too much. Mostly just mystery tourney stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm. I I got my first match done. Yeah. I'm trying to. Th think uh bloody 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 blah i got my first match done i probably will have my second match tomorrow or the next day uh did you are, are you playing in it or are you just helping behind the scenes i'm playing in it i won my first match and i think my next opponent we're scheduling sometime this week he Aww, just needs yeah. to figure out availability cool cool availability uh that can always be an issue, but yeah, I'm, best of luck. I'm glad that you are uh, going and playing through, and hopefully, maybe maybe one day I get to battle you, Pika Pals, and then I will lose spectacularly because I'm not great at these things. <laughs> yeah, we'll... we'll see. Uh, yeah, it looks like Comcast. I'm getting Comcasted pretty heavy over here. Comcast? Uh, but yeah, I'll go ahead and let you go, Pika Pals. Take care i'll see you later all right have fun with the rest of the matches sure thing see you later hedge maze yeah all right bye friends <laughs> all right everybody this is kuso grande the bad video game tournament i am gonna go ahead and check to see if there's something that can be done. We may go offline for a minute or so, and I need to run to the restroom. Uh, so give me a second. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream for a bit because yeah, we are definitely having a uh, lot of internet frame drops and hopefully I can be back. So see you in a minute. We'll be right back.